So, my dad asked me a question or thought it would be good to kind of explain rivets. So, say hi, Dad. How do you do? So, there's my dad. Um, so, he asked about rivets, and so I figured I would go through not all the rivets because there are millions of different kinds and different lengths and different stuff. But basically the stuff that we use um, building the Vans RV14, so the, the ones that we use for that, and the different types and kind of what they are. So you'll notice I have two different bins. One has my AN426AD ones, and then one has my AN470s. They're ADs as well, and they go from threes, you'll see, 3-4 and then these are like 4-4s. Um, the So where to start? And then I have pop rivets. So you have a bunch of pop rivets as well, different kinds. And there are a million different kinds of pop rivets. I won't really go that much into depth um, other than to kind of explain a few of those. So basically, Papa, you want to tell them what, what does AN stand for? Uh, AN stands for it's aircraft. Yeah. Yeah. Army Navy is what it, it, it stands for, but it's an aircraft grade um, it's, it's aluminum rivet. 16,000 PSI, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these are actually, the AD ones are actually 38,000 PSI. Um, they're used for, with different aluminum. So the, the non-structural grade aluminum has just oh, the sorry. A. The, the AD one. is what we're talking about. So if it just has the A... It's um, non-structural aluminum. If it has the AD, it is structural aluminum. So they're they're a, a stronger grade rivet. And the A is you're correct. The just the A is sixteen thousand psi. The AD is thirty eight thousand psi. So they're a little bit stronger. So what about the four twenty six and the four seventy? What are the differences there? Universal head, uh, 470 is a universal head. Yep, yeah. so the 470s are a universal head. So they're round like that. Let me make sure you can see that. So they're round, let me put it down here. So you can see that, see how they're round. Um, and I put this ruler here. Um, so this is just a standard ruler. You have inches on the bottom, millimeters on the top. When I first started this, I was shocked at how small the rivets are. So this rivet, as you can see, it is a quarter of an inch long and it is three thirty seconds wide. So three thirty seconds is the three and the four is the quarter inch. So basically the first number when you're looking at numbers, the first number is the diameter of the rivet in 30 seconds of an inch, and the second number is the length of the rivet in sixteenths of an inch. So four sixteenths would be one fourth. It would be a quarter long, which this one is, and then three thirty seconds would be, it would be three thirty seconds, right? Which, uh, which would be... Uh, Three thirty seconds. I don't know if you can see that. These are we're talking really small things. I'm not sure if the GoPro can get it, but that's how those are. So universal rivets have the rounded overhead. Um, the four seventy. So four seventies are universal rivets. It's a rounded overhead. And, and the uh, four twenty six is our hundred degree countersink. So those are hundred degree countersinks. Let me grab a bigger one. It might be easier to see. So this is a four five. And can you see the the countersink on there? So there's a 100 degree countersink, it fits flush. So it has a flat top on the top there. Um, and again, the numbers are the same. So it's four thirty seconds and five sixteenths. So, so it should be over a quarter inch long. It should be over a quarter inch long. Um, and the flush head rivets, that's what these are called. You measure from the top of the rivet and that is five sixteenths, it's correct. Um, and I should go back to this guy. The universal rivets are actually measured from the bottom of the head. So that's another quick little thing there. 
when you're looking at those. So universal rivets measured from the bottom of the head, flat head rivets are measured from the top of the rivet, the flat part. Okay, so those are rivets. Um, the lengths, the 470 and the 426 are pretty much what you use for the Vans RV. Um, the flush head rivets are the 426s. Um, AD is the um, uh, structural grade. And then the sizes are the numbers. The shop head of a rivet, when you take this rivet right here, and you smush it, and you smush it between two pieces of aluminum, the end right here that gets smushed, yeah, that part that he's showing you right there, that part is what they call the shop head. And I've already talked to you guys about the, that's the wrong spot. Where did I get it? I'll have to figure out where I got that one from. Um, but I already talked to you guys about the, um, Cleveland tool measuring device. I did a video about this guy um, the other day, but that's you measure the shop head with this tool Yeah, so that's the shop head of the rivet the part that gets smushed and then you check it with So those are three rivets So you want it to be bigger than that and it's bigger so it won't go down and you want it to be taller than That guy right there. Yeah Let's Switch your tool over. No, it's the three. It's the corner of the three. So it's taller than that guy. So that's what you want with the rivets there. Um, so going back to the AN part, the AN is the same as MS. Um, AN stands for Army Navy. The MS is mil spec. Um, so they're they're a it's a type of um, type of rivet. The AN means that it's uh, it's uh, treated for corrosion. So it it has a Oh, what do they call that? Corrosion anodizing. resistant? Yeah, it's anodized. That's right. Good word. Anodizing. It's anodized. Um, and so that's those. And then you have what you call pop rivets. There are a bunch of different pop rivets. And oh. so, and when you use pop rivets, um, you, it, depending upon um, pop rivets or blind rivets, sometimes they're called the uh, normal blind rivets or pop rivets, they come in 1 8 5 30 seconds, or 3 16 inch diameter. Um, but if you're using pop rivets that aren't Cherry Max rivets, so Cherry, Cherry Max, Max rivets are these guys. Um, Cherry Max rivets are designed to actually replace the, um, the solid rivets, either the 426 or the 470s. But other pop rivets are not designed for that structural um, integrity. Um, so what you have to do if you're using something other than a cherry max rivet, so just like a cherry rivet, um, you need to go up a size. So if it's a an eighth inch, you need to go to the five thirty seconds one to to take up the the slack or to to make up for the structural integrity. The cherry max rivets though are structural and can be replaced in the same size. So that's pretty much what those are. So after a rivet is driven or squeezed, um, the shop head should be checked to make sure it's the proper shape. And that's why you use the tool over there, the Cleveland tool measuring device. You wanna make sure it's the proper shape. Um, it should have a diameter of one and a half times the rivet shank and height of a half of the rivet shank. So you, sometimes you gotta do a little bit of math. Um, the maximum distance from the edge of the material to the center of a rivet hole is called the edge distance. The minimum edge distance is two diameters of the shank of the rivet being used. The distance between rivets in the same row is called pitch. Minimum pitch is three diameters of the shank of the rivet. It may be as much as 20 times that or more depending on the installation. Um, the distance between rows of a rivet of rivets is called gauge. The distance between the rows of rivets should equal about 75% of the pitch. So determ to determine the proper length of a cherry lock rivet, use a cherry selector gauge. I do not have one of those. Um, I'm probably going to have to get one. So this, the distance between them, right is called pitch so the distance between there to there is called pitch 
the distance between there and the edge is called the minimum pitch between the edge should be three can't it has to be at least three times the diameter of the does that make sense papa you see what yeah. i'm saying so you have the that di the and you have one two three so yeah, the diameter of this put it down there in the picture right of this right here the of the rivet has the diameter has to be three and a half times from here to here right right and that's the so the minimum pitch to the edge just and to, then if anybody knows threads and threading and what pitches are when you have a thread on a um, let's say a bolt the top of the thread to the next top of the thread next to it is called the pitch and that's exactly the same thing from here this would be the pitch that's the uh, uh, distance between the high points or the center points so that's a way to remember that and it also refers to that it also says that the pitch can't be more than 20 diameters so if you had these right here cannot be any more than 20 diameters so that means the the diameter here can't be any more than 20 times to the next hole so uh, it it sounds like a lot but it's really easy once you start to understand it if you're if you're especially building your own product uh, you get to understand what uh, what those things uh, are. Yeah. Just so you see the top of that rivet, there's a little dimple. That is because it is an AD, not just an A. So an AD, which is a structural rivet, will have a little dimple in the top. And so that's so if you get them mixed up, you can tell them apart. An AD will have a dimple in the top as whereas an A will not. Confusing right at the point, but just remember that these numbers across here are representing of this type of rivet. So if you have the rivet, you can actually measure it. And at, the, uh, at that, you can figure out which one it is. So if something happens and these get mixed up, we could sit there and go, oh, this is this. And you could uh, uh, unconfuse yourself real easy. Uh, they do that because it's very important to the aircraft industry that they know these things. This is uh, what they come up with when uh, oh, uh, Hughes was uh, working out rivets. And they finally uh, made flush rivets and then they went, they went from uh, 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 rounded rivets to flush rivets. And that's when he won that race way back when. Cool. And the plans. So, Dr. Pepper... See, I always have my, and I do have, you guys probably haven't seen the M&M bag. I had to hide it from my kids. So it's there, but it's hidden. So here, just so you can see that it's there, but it's hidden. Um, but in the plans, when they call out rivets, they'll tell you what size to use. So like when you look at this particular one, it says it needs an AN 426 AD 4-4. And so you just come to your little box where your AN426 4-4s are and you grab those rivets and that's the one that goes in there. If you wanted to check them, you know it's an AD because it has a dimple in the top. You know it's a 426 because it's got the countersink, the 100 degree countersink. And it's 4-4, so that's 4 30 seconds, which is an eighth. So you could measure that and make sure it's an eighth diameter. And then four sixteenths, which is a quarter, and you can measure this guy and make sure he's a quarter inch long. So that's how you basically do that, is you can look on the plans and know exactly what you need for when you're building the, your airplane. And it calls out different ones, like this is the 426, 3-3.5. There's a 470, so this will be the rounded, the universal head. Um, but it's an uh, eighth inch by quarter inch these guys i am not an expert i just know what they tell me in the plans and from when i've messed them up not saying i messed them up but i've messed up plenty of rivets so that's about it for rivets if you have any questions as always leave a comment i got a joke oh go ahead what's your joke no, you got a joke. no do you have a joke
Yeah, uh, you know what the difference between a Hoover vacuum cleaner and a Harley Davidson motorcycle is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my dad can't do jokes anymore. We'll we'll ban him from jokes. <laughs> Let's talk to you later, guys. Bye.